Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 5, verses 33 through 37. We have learned from the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9, quoting from the New King James Version, Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, Jesus declares, Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. As Jesus taught these things during his physical life and ministry on the earth, he also makes known when or at the moment these things are fulfilled. In John chapter 19, verse 28 through 30, is the record of the last words of Jesus before he died on the cross. Jesus declares in John chapter 19, verse 30, it is finished. After Jesus declared that he came to to fulfill the law and the prophets, as we know from Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, he then began telling of the new way in which will lead to righteousness after all is fulfilled. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 18, we see. He began teaching of the new way in which will, in his own words, be the new standard once he completes his mission on the earth in his physical life by dying on the cross and declaring it is finished, as we already saw in John chapter 19, verse 30. Jesus then, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 21, to pick up our lesson, began telling of the differences between the old commandments and the new commandments. He continues in Matthew chapter 5, verse 33 through 37 with his teaching of being honest. Jesus gives several examples of things that we should not swear by as he leads to his main point of not swearing at all by any means. Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, but let you your yes be yes and your no be no, for whatever is more than these is from the evil one. This is a command to not swear or promise things as it is not our right to determine what God will or will not do or accomplish. The sinful nature is at work in us all as Satan strives to keep us from having a right relationship with God. Satan tried to make the decisions that are only in God's right to do, and for it, he was cast out of heaven for eternity. We are not to tell God what to do or to make demands that essentially puts us in the position of being our own God, because that is what we are doing when we swear by things that are out of our control. This is the disobedience to God, as is the sin of Satan. We are to live in obedience and submission to God and seeking his will for our lives, as he is greater than we are, and he knows what is best for us. But in obedience and submission to God, is the righteous blessings that come from nowhere else. He gives rewards to us that are beyond words to express. He gives us his love in sending his one and only son to save us from sin. And the only thing that God requires of us to, is to open our hearts to the new life that he offers us in Christ. Dear Lord, please help us to see that it is our pride, arrogance, and self-centeredness that keeps us away from you and from growing to where you would have us in our relationships with you. These are the things that keep us from submitting our lives to you and the new life that you offer us through salvation in your one and only son, Jesus. Please open our eyes so that we may see how blessed your love for us is in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.